My journey starts four days after launch. So we boot up the game to some beautiful angelic music, ironic because this is the beginning of our descent into hell, starting with Mahoya's patented flashbang. We open with a flashback of the travelers meeting the unknown god, and why is the background music going so hard? Now the most important decision of the game, choosing which to win, and our heroic name will be Lunno, which is an inside joke on this channel, and man, that, that joke is as dead as the emergency food joke at this point. Anyway, we begin our journey in the present time with our companion that we definitely will not get sick of, Paimon. Following the tutorial prompts, we interact with the Statue of the Seven and become Tevat's airbender. Continuing through the tutorial, we meet and unlock our second character for the challenge, Outrider Amber. Oh, I guess I should explain now how I played this game originally. I took on this self-imposed gotcha list challenge. Some of you in the community might understand it better as wishlist. Basically, anything that you could obtain from the wishing of the gotcha banners is illegal for me to use. I can only depend on whatever I find in the overworld or in-game rewards. We help our new friend with clearing out a hilly troll camp. This is the start of a never-ending war to eradicate these vermin off the face of Tavat. And yes, I am aware of later lore reveals, and no, I still don't feel any remorse or guilt for the genocide I cause. After that, we enter Mondstadt and begin the gliding tutorial before being interrupted by Devalin attacking the city. We get yitted in the air and then proceed to fight Devalin on his own turf. I wish we had more stuff like this throughout the main game like could you imagine a new gliding event where you could like glide and shoot targets for points like come on mohoyo get on it after scaring away devon from the city we head to the office of the knights of avonius and agreed to help with their dragon problem by investigating a series of temples and destroying some wind eggs yep sure that totally makes sense let's be honest the real purpose of these domains is to get you used to how they work and to also let you try out your new team members amber kaya and lisa no no gene though okay damn my aim is ass it hurts rewatching this and seeing that I didn't use my elemental skills. I just kept mashing auto attacks till enemies died. Oh, sweet innocent me. In Kaya's domain, I think this is where I started to fall in love with sword characters as my preferred playstyle. We meet the first Abyss Mage, another spawn of Satan that we'll deal with over time, and Genshin's Batman. Diluc straight up grabbed the enemy by the face and showed him the floor before proceeding to fracture his skull with a bonk. Hey cutie. Oh lord, forgive me, I'm about to sim for a fictional character and there's no turning back for me. Uh, I'm not really sure how to explain that death. I know that Icon wants me to open the quest menu, but that's just a suggestion, not a requirement. So I just set out on exploring and unlocking these teleport points and collecting anything and everything I can interact with. I came back to the starting beach and noticed an island in the distance. We all tried the Kaya Ice Bridge when the game first launched, don't lie to me. Aside from some chests, there really wasn't much on this island, so I just sat down to this little campsite. You know, this makes a really good man meme right now. Okay, it turns out I was wrong, because when I logged back in later that day, I found an enemy, my first Ruin Guard, and attempted to fight it. The keyword, attempted. Can I really say this damage is copium when it's this early in the game? I tried luring him to this pillar so I could have the high ground on him, but he just teleported when he de-aggroed. I tried shooting from afar, but it just didn't even care. I tried for another 15 minutes, and as soon as I climbed, it de-aggros, and I guess I broke the line of sight, so I gave up for now. I'll be back one day. Well, there wasn't much to do since the main story was locked by AR level, but luckily, there are character story quests we can do in the meantime. On the way to find some buried treasure, we encountered the first Eye of the Storm. It kind of does nothing if I'm being honest. Bro, what is this audio mixing? And then it resets mid-fight? Why? Alright, so there was a week between recordings, but all you really need to know is I spent that time exploring the rest of the map, unlocking leeway teleports, and getting geo powers. Behold, the god of Animo, Barbados has descended. Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. Oh, wait! Bruh, Venti got cucked by his own followers. <laughs> We tried to convince the lady, but had no success, so we decided we're gonna pull a heist after dark, unlocking our new in-game ability to fast forward time. Not sure why I decided to go do Amber's story quest instead of finishing with Venti, but whatever, I'm down. Bro, where is this bombing mechanic in the main game? Just give us a craftable item we can use as bombs, and then we just have a fun way to pass the time. Come on, Mahoyo. Venti st- <laughs> 
<laughs> Bendy's still there. You can see him in the background. Oh, that's great. Anyway, we're still ignoring Venti and doing a couple more side quests, getting some more AR levels, more leveling and completing handbook missions. A whole day later in real time, I finally head back into the cathedral to start the heist. I heard from Reddit that if you miss some of these chests, there's absolutely no way to get them back, which really sucks. So I played it slow and made sure I got all the chests. Getting caught doesn't even matter that much. I'm not sure how I got away with this. My brain was panicking so hard. Honestly, in my opinion, stealth in this part was actually good. I'm not sure how to explain why, aside from the fact that there were just better spots for cover and the AI couldn't see me from five feet away or have wall hacks like I experienced late game. But then the liar gets stolen by a system mage, so rip all that effort. Anyway, I've made my very idiotic escape, not even using the gliding pad because I f***ed up. I mean, the guards can't catch me if I don't know what I'm doing, right? While looking for electro system mages to kill, I accidentally walked into Shang Ling's story quest. I love this expression. It's such good meme potential. Anyway, I somehow tangented even further into Lisa's story quest of finding overdue library books and subtly wooing her because this is a date and you can't change my mind and punishing this abyss mage. Back to Shung Ling's story quest, which is now turned into an episode of Gordon Ramsay's Uncharted. Nice. I think I definitely skipped way ahead here because why am I in this domain now? Well, we're looking for ingredients and now we're finding a giant ice flower. Well, might as well since we're here. And again, why do the enemies de-aggro? What am I doing wrong? All of that was so that we could take this extinct boar that has been preserved for 300 years and then put it into the meat grinder. Makes sense. I too enjoy the idea of eating extinct animals. What the dog doing? Today I reached AR 18 or 20, I'm not entirely sure, but I was finally graced with an in-game reward of a dedicated healer. I have been living off peasant food for HP and sucking up the healing from the statues. While exploring, I was curious what this purple icon on the map was. It was the first word boss that I've seen and I nearly killed it over the course of 15 minutes, first time while being under leveled. And then my game froze. I'm telling you, man, Mahoyo is actively trying to nerf me. They fear a man who is too stubborn for his own good and has way too much free time. Today was the first time I ever tried out the Abyss. I only got one star on 1-1 one, one and ran out of time on 1-2. That's fine. Clearly, I was not supposed to be here anyway. Skipping ahead a few weeks, I leveled up my characters a bit off screen and tried the Ascension Domain. Most of it wasn't too bad until I got to the final room. I got my cheeks clapped by these two annoying mages constantly freezing me. And then after that, the final trial was fighting the Electro Cube. I lost both Amber and Kaya during this fight, so I lost my main source of damage and wait to deal with the final phase in time. Guess I'll just have to come back here when I'm stronger. The 1.1 event. We meet Fischl for the first time. My loyal subjects. Very well I then. see your face has a trail been a fear and trepidation After a bunch of dialogue and investigating meteor sites across the region, we also meet Mona for the first time. Are we sure she's a Hydra character? Cause she's so hot. Look at this animation. Her water effects and starry aesthetic together are so pretty. It works so well. Give the designers a raise for this. <gasps> it's him! The Drip King! Scaramouche! Wait, he's a Harpinger? Why is it always the villains who are the more interesting characters? After all that event exposition, I can finally try out this last part of the event. Uh, why is it telling me currently can't enter another person's world? For f single player? Now, I'm pretty sure I found the solution on Reddit, but apparently, stick with me, in order to play that part of the event, even though I wanted to do it in single player, I had to do more of the main story. And if you think that I'm joking, notice that red skip on this icon. It didn't go away until after I broke the seal on Storm Terror's lair. After a bunch of rounds in resin, I finally got my free Fischl, meeting Scaramouche again and getting the Flat Earther meme. Hmm, interesting. Ah yes, my first time fighting the Oceanid boss, which ended in a loss after at least and Kaya died. Yeah, I'll admit I underestimated how some of these fights are the first time, but that's because I like to limit test first. I beat it after buffing up with food and potions. The next day I finally fought Duvall and well, I may have buffed up a little too much. I overestimated how much health he had, so I killed him way too fast in one rotation. Well, at least I got my C1 Barber from the in-game rewards. After we talked to the people of Mond, we returned the liar to Barbara and a very happy ending. Nope, we get ambushed by the Fatui meeting Signora for the first time. Yo, oh my gosh, she whooped his ass. Afterward, we group up with Venti again, giving us more lore dump, and he tells us that we have to head to Leeway to attend the Rite of Dissension in order to talk to the Geo Archon Rex Lapis. That was a mouthful. And it was at this moment I realized, 
This was just the prologue. Oh god, help. Instead of that, let's just wander around and do Razor story quests instead. After trying to handle some disputes about which wolves are or are not attacking the local village, we fight the big angry wolf of the north. Um, good doggy? Even with food buffs, I'm still doing like chip damage. He is a thick ass boy. Despite getting saved by Razor, the wolf deems us worthy to train with him if we choose to do so. Ooh, shiny, what does this do? Oh, uh, how about no for now? It's the Ascension Domain Round 2, baby! Alright, only 5 levels higher than the final boss, but I also have way more experience, so we finally get that dub. We also jumped 5 AR levels from all the extra XP I've been gathering this month, so gotta collect those AR 26 to 30 rewards. I ascended everyone on my team at level 40 and was ready to take on the Abyss so I could get a free Shungling. 1-1 one, one was easy because it was just slimes. Dang, even back then I really liked to use freeze reactions. Can't say I'm surprised. I got one star? Holy, I am dog at this game. I hate these goddamn flies in this game's awful targeting system. Two stars, okay, whatever, it's, it's enough for now. Bruh, I'm watching this footage after two years and realizing I barely even switched from Kaya. And even when I did, I didn't use my skills or bursts half the time. God, I am such a hoarder. Yeah, you stare at those two two stars and realize how much of a fellow you are past me. Remember when Abyss Mages used to be the most annoying and frustrating enemies? Little did we know what the future holds. You were so close to three stars! Maybe if you actually switched your characters more often, you would have actually done it! God, it hurts the backseat game myself. 3-1, you can tell this chamber was designed for Venti. All I did since my damage was lacking was charge attack the enemies off the stage one by one. He regenerated his shield instantly. What the f I would save Traveler's Burst to launch these three big slimes off the stage once the cryo shield was broken. I was sad I didn't get all three. I've actually done it before. <laughs> Oh my god, I threw so hard! How did that even happen? I did the same strategy for 3-2 and I honestly have no idea why I was so stubborn on only doing it this specific way. I guess I was just so desperate for a new character and I was just willing to brute force my way there. I finally got through. No stars though. How am I so bad at hitting weak spots? Man, I'm crying over here. I tried again and pretty much the exact same result. I changed some builds and then made it back to 3-3 off screen. Trust me, it was still just as painful. Now here's a genius idea. What if I actually switched to Traveler and did swirls? Oh my god, triple digits. I never thought I'd see the day. Okay, I can only blame myself. I would have gotten it if I could freaking aim at the weak spots correctly. Finally, I did it. I don't even care that I got zero stars. What matters was getting a free Shang Ling without wishing for her. Aww, this is so cute. It almost makes up for my own stupid suffering. Remember when I said I'd be back for those ruin guards on this island? Well, apparently they heard me because when I came back, they just vanished. Literally no active ruin guards or ones that I could even trigger. Gone. Reduced to atoms? Maybe. I have no clue what happened. With all that out of the way, we can finally move on to the leeway content. Bro, why is Paimon looking at Xing Chu with such disapproval? and disgust. We attended the rite of dissension that Venti instructed us to do so. Remember when I said Genshin had one time where the sneaking was good? Yeah, this isn't it. Now, I know I'm an idiot, but I don't know what the devs intended for us to do to escape this place when there are guards covering like every corner. So you know what you do? You tell the game to go f*** itself and just jump off the side and escape. It's kind of dumb that the game forces me to go back up this staircase after I escape though. But it's very important because we have to trigger this cutscene and make ourselves look even more sus. Genius move. Uh, and we're introduced to Child. Like it or not, we decide to trust Child for now. He gives us a sigil of permission so that we can seek the help of the Adepti because they could clear our name somehow. I I actually don't remember what the point of this was. We head to the mountains and speak to giant Bambi, but are intercepted by the Millet, so Bambi is like, kill him. I was definitely not prepared for this. I'm getting stabbed, lol. Bro, get off my This is a very drawn out fight on my end, but the saving grace was definitely the giga boost to ER from Mooncarver or something because I was definitely getting ults back way faster than I normally would. All right, uh, checking my notes on what happened today. So in order to make Sundere Shout talk to us more, we need the help of the inn's chef to make us a dish, but we had to help him with his ghost problem first. So we chase a little girl's spirit into the woods and did, did she just possess the Ruin Hunter? Bro, where's Chung Yun when we need him, bro? I need an exorcism and some Jesus right now. If you don't come and play, Dusky Ming will come find you. I have played enough Phasmophobia to know that this is a red flag. It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. 
Oh man, that deep voice. I'm not gay, but... Anyways, while gathering items for Rex Lapis's funeral, we meet Chi Chi, and she tells us the legends of the Coco Goat. Going hunting, boys! Well, that's okay, because it was a lie. Honestly, I don't blame Chi Chi. Reading hard. I knew you were sus! Don't look at me with that damn smile on your face! Unfortunately, this has to wait another day because the final parts of Leeway's Archon Quest is locked behind AR-35. Yay! Well, back to the grind on side quests for AR XP. Now guys, hear me out. What if we had Defend the Monolith, but it's bigger? I'm not gonna lie though, I thought this one was actually pretty fun. Until it spawns three of them? Why? <laughs> There are also rocks dropping on my head like I'm hiking down my local mountain trail. Uh, I may have made a mistake. I'm sorry, what? Are you telling me the hunter deals 25% to the monolith? How? I just gotta say, having an entire region of the map where you explore to unlock each part of this puzzle is cool. I know, I know, it's not unique to Genshin, but when well done, it's pretty neat. Although there's one specific reason for completing this one, the Adeptus Temptation. With this, I will finally have a fraction of the power of the gods. Any fight that dares to challenge me better watch out after I consume this entire hot pot. I um, just need to figure out how to farm lots of ingredients. Are my fellow Genshin veterans ready to relive the worst event? in Genshin's history while it's warm. First, I tried to ice bridge so that I wouldn't get the hydro, but somehow failed. Okay, that's fine. I, I'll just take the long way. You could just tell by my silence in game that I was so furious at this horse. This fan art meme sums up this moment perfectly. At least I learned from my mistake this time. You know, I agree game. The food is inedible because I died on top of it. Here's the other reason why this event was horrible. Some of these spawns were selected by psychopaths. This is sped up footage of the route I had to take to get this fat f his damn chicken. It was at this moment where I realized, damn, I wish I had Jean in my party forever, man. Her sucking yeet is so fun. We've entered version 1.2, aka this dragon spine update. I was very excited to know that we get a free four star weapon, the festering desire. I do feel bad for anyone who missed out on this update and the event because this sword is really good for support characters in my opinion. I tried to climb all the way up the Dragon Spine Mountain to get the new domain unlocked and well, found out you can't do that. For now at least. I unlocked the frost bearing tree. I realized that I had to pick up these crystals in order to even break this special ice thing. I wanted to test how bad the sheer cold damage was because it was a major concern I had in, when watching the special programs. It actually does an average of 250 HP per tick. I'm pretty sure it's it's uh, percentage based actually, but it's not significant enough as long as I'm not in low HP. I stumbled across the Boar King boss fight. I love that this was a secret and not mentioned in the live streams. It's the little stuff I appreciate. Well, okay, I don't appreciate him getting all up in my face though. Get off me, pig. The game glitched and my camera was stuck in the air for some reason when my friend joined my world mid conversation with an NPC. So as far as I know, this was my first co-op interaction. I'll cherish it forever. I whooped this mage's ass so hard my game froze again. You can't delay me forever, Mahoyo. Ah uh, yes, the famous scene that started the Palu trend. We should just let him die to the flower, like one less problem, right? The worst part is, is that I have to fight this cryo regis vine when my main DPS is a cryo unit. Oh, this'll go great. And it's all your fault, Palud. After hesitating to save Palud, I got the materials for max refining the festering desire. This is no joke, going to be my strongest weapon for the rest of the video. Fighting the regis vine again, but this time in co-op because my friends all wanted to do it together. My homie is hitting four digits while I'm just doing Barbara things. There could have been more interesting gameplay, but uh, somehow I got stuck with being the healer for the group. 30 minutes of Barbara gameplay. Maybe this was the spark where I embraced being a Marber brain. Like Barbara brain? Well, that's enough dragon spine for now. Back to the actual story. Oh, you guys are so f now. I got a cursed dragon sword as my weapon, and it demands blood sacrifice. Kaching is so impressed with our raw strength that she tells us how to get to the J chamber. Okay, that's not what happened, but I'm just gonna pretend it was anyway. Skipping ahead past a lot of dialogue, we finally enter the golden house and find Rex Lapis's corpse. I wanna just take a moment and admire the architecture. How is their overworld and domain design really pretty? And this is on mobile. I can't even imagine what this looks like on a gaming PC. Wow, I'm so surprised. Who could have seen this coming? Oh, shut up. 
I've been waiting to beat your ass. Coward, stop running. Interesting, he isn't actually frozen despite triggering the reaction. 500 damage? <laughs> That's cute, fam. Hey, yo, what the actual? He took like half my HP. Okay, for real though, why can't we do this? I've always had the theory that in Cannon Traveler can use both elements at once. Oh, we triggered his edgy persona over my dead body, child. This dude throwing whales at me? Uh, I, I was joking, man. I, I was just joking. Okay, I don't know how he died, but I will take it. Of course, it wouldn't be this simple. These mother are straight up resurrecting an ancient god like it's Pokemon, bro. Anyway, it's that time in the anime where the shonen cast gets together and combines our powers to defeat this new threat with the power of friendship. I'm, I'm kidding, we just hit it till it dies. This cutscene still gives me chills. It's probably the music, just something about it adds to the suspense. I will say the one thing I'm disappointed when reliving this is that they didn't even let us get to try out Kachin. We fight alongside her, man. Kachin deserved better. The rain is just making it easier for Kea to free stun these dudes without having to switch to Barbara. Be careful not to get hit. Excuse me? There was no indicator of where that attack was about to land. Okay, maybe I'm not as powerful as I thought I was after all. Oh, let's go, anime protagonist powers. Bruh, are you serious? I'm getting karma back at me. Oh, I'm fast, boy. Okay, re-watching this, I'm realizing there is way too much downtime just waiting around for more enemies to spawn. But at least the last two minutes make up for it. I may be boosted by the game's buffs, but I have not had what felt like a thrilling fight since, um, ever, I guess? Basically, I'm just glad I didn't one-tap everything like I did for Devalin. Oh no! He's summoning three stars from the gotcha! Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. And that's how the city of Liyue was wiped by a nuke and we got isekai'd. Never mind. Now we just have to deal with child. Ah, oh, sh. Wait, Zhang Li was the Geo Archon the whole time? What? Okay, I'll admit this was slightly spoiled for me by YouTube recommendations, but the clues were there in both the story and the fact that Zhang Li was the game's first five star Geo character. It wouldn't be hard to figure out. But yeah, the Vatui win again despite our best efforts. Is it too late to take Victor's offer and join them? I'm, I'm just saying, we're, we're 0 for 2 right now. The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far, and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. Join my party, join my party, join my party. Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? Are you kidding me, Lumin? Just like Venti, our final interaction with Zheng Li is lore dumping about what's to come next. Too bad we're gonna have to wait like six to seven months before Inazuma happens. Bruh, I am one off from the level 10 statue. I am so depressed. I'm so annoyed by this one because there is no indicator for whether I'm above or below this Inoculus. Genshin's minimap really suffers from vertical indicators. Anyway, I found it after inspecting every corner in this mountain and finally got it to level 10. Thankfully for Animo, I counted properly this time, so I got level 10 easily. Easily. I did the world ascension domain again, and I gotta say, I'm really disappointed, Mohoyo. You didn't even change anything in here besides enemy levels. Missed opportunity in my opinion, but then again, I guess they didn't have that many enemies in the game yet, so. Now, according to this YouTube video, there's actually a world quest where you can get a free five-star artifact, which is going to be pretty pog. Oh, sweet innocent me didn't even know about artifact hell yet. I also like this cutscene where after I'm placing the orb, we just get yeeted off the pillar. Thankfully, we don't take fall damage. Okay, now this area was some new levels of bull for one simple reason. My game glitched. Here's how. See how I break this pyro node stone? That's good. But then this side one wasn't breakable because the game failed to spawn it properly. Meanwhile, I'm getting shot at by the Ruin Hunter. Excuse me? Oh my god, everyone is dying. Why? I literally ran around a corner and just stayed here healing with Barbara's skill while trying to come up with a plan. I tried to find a solution online for why this was happening and apparently, I'm just one of the unlucky few who encountered this bug. iPhone game of the f year, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> 
Okay, since the game wanted to f*** me over, it is time to stop holding back. I buffed the hell up with food and potions, revived Kaya, and set out for battle. He did that sh again? Okay, after strategically retreating for the second time so I could revive Fizzle, I started again. This fight was annoying because while Barbara can remove this pyro aura, the game is constantly refreshing it because I can't destroy the node causing it. And this f*** loved to hover above the ground. This was a stamina battle. And for some reason, this stone and the lizards respawned. And guess who comes back with full HP? How the f*** did he heal? Oh my god, I hate this corner of death. Dude, you're kidding me. I finally hit the freaking weak spot. This was the turning point of the fight. I don't even care that the lizards were back at this point. I was just hard focused on the hunter so I could just be free from this nightmare. God, I, I actually got so much mauled and PTSD reliving this moment. After all that, my team deserved to take a photo with this artifact. We earned this. I earned this freaking artifact. And its substats were mediocre, but I didn't understand that at the time. My homie said if I got like any crit substat for the last one, it'd be all right. Yeah, spoilers from the future, I didn't but I mean it's not the worst thing in the world okay so at this point I may have decided to break my wishlist rule I already beat the main story you know the Archon quest at the time so which was the whole point of the self-imposed challenge also I wanted to annoy my friend Jaza because he got Albedo when he didn't care for him back then so I secretly did two 10 pulls just to flex to see if I could get him I don't even remember why this would annoy him I never told anyone about this I did get a Bennett though, and little did I know how valuable this would be later down the road. I also got a Sucrose, which I was happy about, and hey, you know what? I got my gene. However, everything truly changed this day when one character demo dropped. It was at that moment when I fell in love with Coco Goat. No, it wasn't because of her design or her soft voice or the fact that I apparently have a thing for ice-powered women. No. I don't think I need to explain how tempting it was to have a powerful long range charged attack with large AoE. No, no, I, I don't, I don't need it, I don't need it. I believe I accidentally increased my world level an extra level too high and in order to grow stronger I have to fight stronger bosses so I had to call on a friend for help. Wolf helped me get the heart island chest which I didn't even know about. I really needed her help to carry me with Oceanid because well I'm not very good at fighting this boss okay there I said it. And while waiting for the boss to respawn Wolf found the last geo oculus that existed in my world. I didn't even know that there would be a spare one we get to keep as a souvenir. This cocky mother really got a double kill huh? I'm telling you my Kaya can tank with his HP artifacts, putting those bad artifacts to work. Oh yeah, Kaya unlocked a new ability, Water Delusion. I had an unusual encounter today. Okay, I, I felt kind of bad that this dude was just vibing until I picked a fight with him. I got freaking attacked by the other Heliotros during this dialogue, even though they were completely passive before starting. Alright, Hypostatic Symphony. Hot take. I love this event for all the wrong reasons. The quick rundown for those unaware is that basically each day you face one of these three hypostasis bosses, but you can turn on a series of buffs for the enemies and nerf yourself into oblivion so you can get a higher score if you complete the challenge and earn rewards. And uh, <laughs> I was determined to do it with my wishlist team only. And then I was reminded how insanely difficult turning everything on was and how bad I am. So I assembled my friends into the first official Genshin squad. I wanted this to be its own video back then and then um, yeah that didn't happen but uh, I do actually still have the old project file so enjoy some highlights from back then. No, I'm just gonna on. pop. I'm come popping on. this just in case. Pain. Oh okay. yeah, okay. Oh, you're go, good. go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. That's, I got my burst. Go, go, go. Get his ass. Uh, <laughs> Break oh, me. No! 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 Oh, my God. Yes! Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go! Yo, that I was that was that, I could clutch. My heart can't last take that. Clutch. Oh man! It was a one f***ing hell. Last oh, that, clutch. Oh, that, that, that was that was fun. That was so funny to watch the screen. It was, <laughs> that light was going out of his eyes. You you you, you saw me. You, you probably just saw me just like give up. Yeah like, yeah yeah. You, you just completely gave up. You threw your controller. I can take one off. Which one do you think is worse? Stamina. Okay. Yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, it took us only like two and a half minutes. I would say it. if we have six minutes for Geo, oh, I think God. we'll be okay. Oh, do we not need to get the thingies? No. Oh. And next one. Okay. Careful. Oh, oh my God, I have 400 HP. Help. Oh my God. Oh, actually, yeah, I kind of need to die here so I can get health back. I'm just going to die real quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get these two. Can't damage it. Oh, that wasn't enough. I'm too. Yeah. Okay, one more, one more side. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yo. 
Eleven minutes for Geo. We got this. We got this. Wait, what? I think he killed Geo. Oh, it, it's not. Oh, guys, it's not taking the, damage. It's not it taking is. damage. Yeah, it is. Oh, um, why what? was I running in a wall? What? Wait, why is it healing? Wait, did it heal? Wait, wait, is it doing the blast phase? I what can't is it tell. doing? Yin, what's going on? Nice. Ah. Hit. Hit, hit the pillars. I know he's still streaming. Oh, yeah. let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, 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 we're doing damage again. Oh, we okay, are. I think okay. Reset okay. Yeah. This this pillar over here is really low. Hopefully he goes on that one. Hopefully, please. Oh, he's going on it. He's going on it. Let's go. Let's make up for whatever the f happened. Oh, we might get it. Oh. Got it. I think, oh. we, I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Guys, guys, finish, finish the pillars. Can't do anything here. Okay. There we go. Last pillar. Last pillar. Yes. yes! Let's go. Let's get it. Oh. Hey, five, y'all. Good God. job, guys. Y'all went on an adventure there. Woo! I did floor four of Abyss, and it was going well until. This shit isn't funny anymore, Mahoyle. It was an easy nine stars overall. All right, I'm just gonna come clean. I tried to stay strong, but on January 31st, a few days before her banner would go away, I gave in. I did 20 more rolls just to see if I could get her for the collection, and yeah, I did. I will admit, I didn't actually understood how pity works, so I didn't even know that this was guaranteed. But look at her. It's Coco Goat. She's beautiful. The wishlist arc has long since concluded. Now, this is where the real fun begins.